this. Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. It's gonna be a long one, that's all I'm gonna say. Got a bunch of stuff done today. Very happy with uh, the results. Um, some cool stuff in the mail today. A friend of mine makes these really sick lanyards. Really sweet, got a bunch of them. Let me go turn the music down a little bit. Sorry, it's like a party in here all the time. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, got a run of Browse Blades, the Coroner. Uh, these are actually for sale. Um, so contact Jason uh, if you want them. Uh, or, you know, if you can't get a hold of them, I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him or something. But uh, yeah, each one's completely different. He sent me these, and uh, you know, this is his new production fixed blade. Uh, he just put out one actually the other day with like the zombie green with the splash of blood on it. So I figured, you know, it's a good time to do this video, just in time for uh, the return of Walking Dead. So I'm excited about that. So this is a good zombie killing weapon right here for sure. So I'm gonna just show them in the order of like, you know, how I like them. I guess uh, they're all pretty much variations of the same thing, but. The you know, original ones uh, are satin. This one has been reground, uh, acid washed. A little light stone wash on there. Very light on this one. Uh, reground for the satin blade. It's nice and sharp. Didn't do too much. Just polished up the edge. It says the coroner on there. And you can see it's got OD green and black G10 with the uh, modified Anzo pattern on it. Sandblasted, looking sexy. Very comfy, very thick. Thick blade, so you know the scales being a little bit thinner, it works real good, it's real comfy. Just I like this one a lot. Make sure that music's too loud. Alright, so next up we got the fake hamon. This one same kind of thing going on with the uh, with the edge there, polished up. It's got like a fake moon on it. Looks cool. And this uh, this one has the uh, natural pattern in blue black G10. Sandblasted as well. Looks real nice. Uh, I believe Jason said there's gonna be custom sheets with these, with these, uh, the ones he makes. So looks pretty cool. Fake moon on there. And I believe he's selling them for 400 a piece. All right, now we're getting the crazy ones. I really like this one. I finished up this morning. It was the last one I had to do. Uh, this one was lightly acid washed and and uh, stone washed as well. It's almost you can't even see it, but it's. Uh, I made sure it didn't rust, and it, it doesn't. So this one has been reground to have a convex tanto tip on it. Uh, this whole area is convexed up in the front here, and uh, you see the acid wash and everything. Very sharp blade. This one has uh, the new crater pattern. I uh, got some better tools, and uh, the cratering looks a bit more ridiculously awesome. I like it a lot. It's a bit more uh, organic, I guess you'd say. But uh, the flat on the bottom is really cool. This is ever actually red and black G10. It just uh, some light you can't really tell, but it looks really sick on this knife for sure. Uh, the craters just pop more. I mean, like the shadow on them, just more crazy. And it's very comfortable. There's no hot spots at all. Um, the old crater pattern I did had a little bit of hot spots here and there, but this one's just a lot better. And you get more of a honeycomb effect going on, somewhat more of a uh, angular, just a better pattern, I'd say. So you may see this a little bit more, uh, like on one of the Emersons I have today to show. So this guy, I don't know, maybe he'll charge more for that because it's uh, reground to a Tonto. And uh, it definitely looks cool as a Tonto. And my favorite, uh, this one got uh, zombie ropes all over it. What do you think you guys saw this one maybe? This one's pretty crazy. Acid washed, and then uh, Vance came out here and just did his business all over it. I had to kill him first though, and he came back, and he uh, ropes it up. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, the ropes thing's getting a little out of hand, but I like it. It's crazy looking. Just left it high polished and uh, acid washed a couple times. Got some weird like rusty looks going there. That's the D2 steel. Sometimes you get like a darker browner color sometimes with the uh, acid wash. But I did like kind of a weird method where it kind of splashed on it. So it looks like real old and 
in the background. I don't know, this looks sick as hell. Of course, the coroner's on there nicely. And then, uh, just so there's no confusion, got the Tough Knives G, uh, carbon fiber. Uh, this one was without the glow from Black Sight Carbon Fiber. Really shined up in between uh, each each groove in there. And the liners kind of stick out a little, or the blade sticks out a little bit, so you can see that pattern on there a little bit. Not on the top so much, but just on the bottom there, which I like a lot. Looks cool. It's very comfy. Especially these bigger, bigger, beefier grips. Very comfortable. It's a cool knife. Uh, you got to hand it to Jason. I mean, the more the more I, I get into knives. And the more I talk to people, like the more I realize and other people realize that uh, Jason's definitely got something that no other knife maker has. And that's like originality. Um, he's not afraid to do something like this. Like some people may like, be like, oh, that's like some tactical BS. But you know what? These serrations are more useful than other serrations I've seen. Um, and it's just a very, very traditional shape, actually. I mean, it doesn't look like it so much, but it's just a drop point. I guarantee you'll be happy using this. The, Edge is nice and thin up here. It's a flat ground, but it's awesome. I, I like it. I mean, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't buy fixed blades that often because I can make them, and I plan on making a bunch for myself at some point. But you know, as far as fixed blades go, uh, Jason Brass is definitely my favorite, uh, and I'm always interested to see what the hell he's coming out with. And this year, guys, uh, is definitely the year of the brow. So stay tuned to that shit. I'm sure you guys have seen the uh, collaboration, Mikel Williamson and uh, maybe seen a sneak preview of his other folder, which, oh man, they both look sick. So I'm gonna get these out of the way for these ridiculous pimp jobs I got. All right, so first up, Brian. Brian finished your uh, Praetorian today. Turned out freaking awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten this color before, actually. Um, it's like a really, really, really deep bronze. Like, it's just, it's like almost brown, and it looks sexy as hell. And uh, yeah, I like it. It looks good as hell. So when you come over tomorrow, hopefully that the pommel will be done on this one. But uh, leave it to Greg Manford to have some weird size in here that I can't find a piece of anything that fits it. It's nice. Uh, great touring. Can't wait to get mine. Stone wash over the original finish there. Just looks good. Everything stone wash, all the screws and everything. See the pivot screw uh, stone wash nicely. Not the blade though. The blade's nice. It's fine. As long as it's not super shiny, I'm good. I'm happy with it. So Praetorian, almost done. All right, now the first one here. I'm gonna do these. I mean, I like them both so much, but uh, this last one. Uh, is definitely something different. The Gypsy Jacks are something I like to go crazy on, and I don't know, they leave me a lot of room for creativity. It's all Emerson's pretty much, but uh, these two in particular are just real fun to do today, and uh, yeah, they've been sitting for a little bit, and uh, need to get them done. So we got the CQC, you know, I know it's a 12, let me see if I'm right, 13, I was wrong, 12 is a frame lock. 13, got the Bowie blade black uh, black coating. Now this one, the guy asked actually to tiger stripe the blade. I'm not sure what that meant in the note, bro, so uh, give me a call and I'll do it up and have it out to you Monday, hopefully. Uh, but I left it black just for now because I wasn't sure what you meant. I hope that music's not super loud in the video. Sometimes just the speakers facing the camera is enough to like create like a, a line of really loud sound even though it's not loud at all all right so this one you got coyote brown with the new cratering pattern which just looks sexy i really like it the other crater pattern was kind of like you know it looked a little messy but this one it's got more of a look to it more more style to it and uh it's just i like it a lot i mean with certain angles it's just insane looking the coyote tan or coyote brown i'm sorry both sides cratered, really comfortable, really, really comfortable. Uh, this cratering actually is very nice. It provides a lot of grip, there's no hot spots. I love it. It's not my favorite, but it, with the new tooling I have to do this, I really like the flat spots all over. It's really cool looking. And uh, as you can see, got the titanium, uh, Timascus toed backspacer. Uh, I'll call it the split gear pattern. Just a good look, and it's been uh, 
fallout, uh, kind of like a fallout liners, I guess you'd say. Uh, that's what he said in the note, so. And uh, jumping's good. Showed a picture on Instagram today, kind of like doing the hand jumping. Kind of like putting up pictures on there, so. It's kind of fun. So yep, got a tighter grip, uh, tighter grouping here, and then like a little bit spaced apart than just flat. But uh, this thing looks sexy as hell. And it's just, it's just perfect. Centering's good. Action's perfectly smooth. It's so solid. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much, man, for some of those tools you gave me for uh, for the pimp job. Uh, they're definitely, definitely precision for sure. And even not in a mill, it's just everything just so much more precise, somewhat, somewhat, and quicker too. So, which is uh, what I'll be getting into in the next knife here. I don't think I could have done this without those tools. Uh, maybe, probably could actually. I, I probably could have gotten around it, but it would have been a hell of a lot more frustrating. So yeah, I like that one. I don't care if you don't like craters. This one looks sexy. Uh, let me grab something real quick so I can tell you how I did this. I've already gotten the question from uh, my wife, so obviously she's not that into knives and you guys are, so if she's gonna ask this question, I know everybody else is gonna ask this question. Um, so I can give you an answer. I'll tell you how I did it. I don't care, it's no secret. So this one is one of my favorite knives to pimp. Uh, they just, the Chipsy Jack and the Persian are just awesome. I love pimping them. Uh, didn't touch the blade yet. Uh, just depends on what, what the dude wants. Uh, now this, my instructions were satin, red, and black, and do something different, take as long as you want. And uh, he paid me a little extra. I didn't ask for it, he just did it, and he wanted me to do something crazy. And I'm very happy with this. Uh, I didn't go titanium bolsters or anything like that, different. I went with more of a technical, clean, future type of thing. Like, I'm more doing like the uh, beat up, like old looking. So this one I want to just do really clean and uh, kind of futuristic, just really sexy. It kind of looks like it's, I don't know, just fast or something, I don't know. But this is all done by hand, guys, so I'm very happy with it. So first, you got this awesome blade, which everybody loves so much. Then I went to try the uh, WR look with the uh, G10 around the pivot. And it uh, worked out pretty good. It's a slight space there at the top. Um, this side it looks better because there's a space all the way around it perfectly. But, you know, it looks really good to me. Barely even noticeable. Um, now we got cutouts here. Uh, that could cut out and uh, basically have like a, I guess I'm gonna call it an underlay of a peel ply red G10. So it's uh, got grip there, you don't really need it, but other than that, just smooth contour black for the rest. And uh, backspacer is a new kind of a pattern. Red G10, kind of done in a diamond pattern, like studs almost. Come on, focus. I was just having some fun with the file and uh, just kind of fit it, just real clean. Everything's like kind of comes to a peak there in the middle. The bottom, it's uh, same thing, a little dirty. I think I was touching it with my dirty ass fingers. But everything comes to a point, it's really nice. It's kind of like little little pyramids. It just looks really good, I love it. it. Looks badass too. And on this side, you got two cuts just because the uh, pot clip would cover it. Uh, this pot clip will be chromed out, I guess you'd say. Uh, I just didn't want to sit there and do that for an hour today. I think I'll do it tomorrow before, uh, before Monday. Centering's good. Action's good. I'm in love with this thing. I love the way it looks. just so simple. But it's enough to be like, how the fuck? I mean, there's no red liners here. You don't see any red liners. So, you know, it was basically inset inside. Um, and what I did, basically, I know everybody, I know Alex Dietz is he's, he's gonna ask me and he's gonna know when he looks real close at that. How did I do that? Uh, same way I do a Manix 2. I just got the Manix 2 scale, pa pow. Put it on the black, uh, traced it out, just like filled that in. Move down, move down. Then basically uh, with the uh, uh, reamer bit, not the reamer bits, the uh, end mills I had, uh, they work really well, the smaller ones. Uh, when you get a little higher, everything starts to fly off and break your hands apart. So basically just hit right here at the top of the curve and right here at the bottom, here, 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 here. Attach the two by uh, using a carbide burr bit and beveled it nicely around. 
I mean, it's just using tools the way they're not supposed to be used. It's kind of what I do more than anything. So, yeah, that looks really sexy right there. Really, really sexy. So, bro, I hope you like this because I absolutely love it. I know it's a little bit simple looking, but a lot of work went into this guy. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And it is fucking gorgeous. Uh, so, I'm going to be putting this one up on USN. It's just nice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you think, guys. And uh, check out BrassBlades.com, of course. Uh, he's a good friend. Uh, great guy. I hope I meet him sometime soon. Um, but I, I can vouch for him. His knives are amazing. I love them. Fixed blades are incredible. Um, he's a uh, he's a knife maker like me or anybody else. You know, make mistakes get made. But you know what? He fixes his mistakes and he lives up to what he uh, his product. You know, he backs his product. I back his product too. So check him out, guys, and uh, let me know what you think of these. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Peace.